Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be comparing regular crunches versus cable crunches. The benefits of cable crunches and why you should do them over regular crunches. Okay, so now, like I said, what we're going to be talking about today is regular crunches versus cable crunches. Well, first off, why should we be doing crunches in general? Um, regular crunches work the, the one of the muscles of the core, okay? Um, the rectus abdominis, which is more of the main muscle on the top. Now, regular crunches, you can only go so heavy on because you're only lifting, really. I mean, you're only lifting your upper torso. So, I'm going to be demonstrating a video kind of showing you here on the floor of me just doing regular crunches. Now, you see my upper abs are contracting on top. The problem is with this is that when we stretch, usually just doing, doing them on the floor, you only have so much range of motion. Now we can incorporate a ball and get a further stretch, but then once again, we can only gain so much resistance by lift, lifting the upper torso of our body. Now I'm also demonstrating a weighted crunch. Now it's the same issue here. We have a little bit more weight going up, but it's really hard to keep that consistent resistance. Okay, because gravity is pulling on this weight in different ways and it's just very hard to control. Now going on to cable crunches, right? When you're doing cable crunches, you have a consistent resistance all the way through the motion. Okay, and I'm demonstrating here um, the exercise cable crunch. Now I'm using a rope and you can see the form here as I'm coming down, I'm contracting my rectus abdominis and shortening my abs. And then when I'm allowing my body to come up, I actually am expanding my rib cage up more to stretch out the abs in a full range of motion. Okay, the benefit about the cable is that we can go a lot heavier and train the abs like a normal muscle. So if you're looking for those thick brick abs, the cable crunches is an easy way, an effective way to gain a little bit more, mu more muscle around the core. Um, also, it's very good if you have lower back pain. What I find when I'm doing the cable crunch is that I don't have too much strain on my lower back because it's a very easy motion for the body. How many reps do I do and how many sets? Well, I typically do cable crunches two to three days a week, um, 10 to 12 reps, and about four sets towards the end of my workouts. Now my tempo is slow and I'm just looking for the contraction here, guys. No speed, no, no going as heavy as you possibly can, it's all about the contraction on the ab exercises. Okay, and that's it. Simple and effective exercises. Quality versus quantity. Okay, simplify everything, guys. It's not that complicated, okay? And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. And um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.